Chamber of Horrors, 1940, directed by Norman Lee, starring Lily Palmer, Romilly Lunge, and Leslie Banks. An heiress and her wisecracking aunt travel overseas and team up with a detective from Scotland Yard to get to the bottom of a web of mystery and deception after receiving a mysterious key in the mail. This film is another fascinating title that straddles the line between mystery and horror. There's a reason for that too. Like Hollywood with the Hays Code, Britain was under harsh restrictions by the British Board of Film Censors that prevented outright horror from being released easily. The script is loosely based on a novel by Edgar Wallace from 1926. It was originally released in Britain as The Door with Seven Locks, but I personally think Chamber of Horrors is a far better title. The ensemble carrying this film work wonderfully off each other, providing laughs and suspense as we unravel the mysteries of Selford Manor along with them. Said ensemble is made up of memorable characters as well, including Lily Palmer as June Lansdowne, the rightful heir and eventual love interest. Gina Mallow as Glenda Baker, the sassy aunt punctuating every scene she's in with a great one-liner. And Romilly Lung as Dick Martin, the square-jawed detective and eventual love interest. On the other side of the equation, we have Leslie Banks as the nefarious Dr. Manetta, who has a private collection of torture devices and his syndicate of dubious characters, including a housekeeper that suspiciously looks like a nurse we encounter earlier in the film, and a towering butler with an itchy trigger finger. Manetta has an adorably cheeky pet monkey named Beppo, though. So he can't be that bad. This film isn't a whodunit as much as a why done it, where it becomes fairly obvious who the guilty parties are, but what they're actually up to is the mystery you discover in the end. There's some great mystery tropes at play in this film as well, including a painting with cut-out eyes, and other suspicious incidents that will leave you wondering what's going on. Verdict? Recommended. A suspenseful film you will... treasure for viewing. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.